Hey guys, it's Ashley with 3R Sales and Service. Today we're taking a look at the Crane Skid Package. This is a 12-volt uh, a soft wash assembly, very similar to the Vulture skid assembly that we have. Um, the main difference is that this skid is only 40 inches wide, where the Vulture is 48 inches wide and has more of our soft wash box assembly on there. So um, this one's ideal for, um, for any type of enclosed application. So if it's going in a van, in a, in a truck with a cap on it, um, or even in an enclosed trailer. So it's kind of nice, it's just more narrow, um, nice and easy to access everything right up front here. Um, so we'll kind of go over everything um, as if you've never seen the Vulture one before. So we have two of our Titan hose reels up front. This is our inlet reel, which is lets the water into the water tank that we have. And then this is our soft wash reel. So we have 200 feet of half inch soft wash hose and we've got 100 foot of the three quarter inch garden hose. We've got the connections in here to keep those hoses locked into place um, so that they're not moving around um, if this is going on in open assembly. So um, like I said, I, I said that this is ideal for an enclosed one, mostly just because this panel is just a little bit more accessible closer to the end and then it's more narrow for fitting in between doorways. This is also um, water resistant or waterproof. It's all marine grade items so that it can sit outside on a trailer as well um, or in an open type of setup if you have one. The, um, the hose reels here, the Titan hose reels are aluminum construction and then they have the stainless steel manifold. We have our uh, metering system here. So this meters your water, your surfactant and your bleach. Um, all of these valves are considered precise metering valves. And we're, um, we have all of these stickers on the bleach valve based on you using 12.5% uh, sodium hypochlorite concentrate. So when this valve is all the way open, and then you've got this one all the way open, you're drawing it 50-50. So this is gonna show right at about 6% because you're pulling a 6% concentrate when you're pulling 50% 50, 50 water and 50% from your bleach tank. Um, down below, we have our pump. And then uh, right below this bleach valve here, we have our rinse. So all you have to do is just flip this back and forth and you can switch between your bleach and then um, you know, switch between water. That way you can rinse that valve out or you can just use your system to rinse as well. Moving around the side here. On the back side, we have our charger already in place. Um, so all you do is just take your 110 volt plug, plug it in, That'll go ahead and either charge your battery or it'll maintain your battery if it's gonna be a while before you use this, especially if it's a winter storage situation. Uh, your deep cycle battery goes here. We have a seven gallon surfactant tank and then we have a 55 gallon bleach tank and 55 gallon water tank. The tank that you see on the end here with the yellow hose is your bleach tank. And then uh, the one with the, the larger blue hose, this is your water feed going into a filter that then goes into your tank. On the underside of this filter and bulkhead is a float valve. That float valve controls um, the water level inside the tank. So once it reaches that float valve, it'll automatically shut off your water flow. And then once you start pooling water again and depleting that tank, it'll instantly start filling it again too. So just makes it very easy. Um, to keep from overflowing the tank. And then of course, if it's inside um, a van where we have maybe a little bit of limited height, especially if it's a standard height van, we'll take this and install it right on the front of the tank. So it drops this down. You, get, you save yourself about four or five inches here. Um, beyond that, we do have another filter before it goes through the soft wash system, just to make sure everything stays out um, of your pump. We have a three quarter inch drain for the water tank which is just right back here. We've got a ball valve on the end so that if this is you know, just sticking out right outside where um, the end of your van is or at the end of your truck bed, you can control it just by opening and closing this valve here. We do have additional valves between the tank and your filter just so you can clean out that filter very, very easily. You don't have to empty your tank completely. Um, you just shut off that ball valve, clean out your filter, put everything back together and you're on your way. Um, otherwise, this is a, uh, like I said, a 48 by 40 skid. So on the front side, it's 40 inches wide. You can lift it and move it from all sides. So it's nice and easy to install if needed. Um, it also doesn't really weigh too much whenever, uh, whenever it's completely empty. So if you have a couple people that, uh, that can 
just lift things on their own, then you could probably just drop it into place by hand. So if you have any questions on this skid, it'll be on our website at 3rpressurewashers.com. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can probably go down into the comments and uh, get a link directly to that system. If you have any questions, just give us a call. Thanks.